Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. I always start my videos by saying you guys thank you so much for your love and your support that you have continuously given to this channel. You have no idea how it really touches my heart when I read your comments, just the positivity and the energy that you bring uh, to the channel. It really has taken us to an entirely different level and I thank you for that. Um, today I am going to do an overview of what is happening today, which is March 21st. If you are watching this past that date, then no worries because we'll be in this state for the next three years, <laughs> okay? All right, but I think it was wise for me to give you guys an overview of what to expect for the next three years, what are what is transpiring right now. Um, today, March 21st, 2020, all the way through March 7th, 2023, this is what we call Saturn's return. Saturn is returning to the sign of Aquarius. Now, take Saturn about, you'll hear different, um, you know, lengths of time, but it's anywhere from 29 and a half years, I've heard, or 20, they say anywhere from 27 to 30 years, it takes Saturn to make a complete return into the sign that it started. But I think it really boils down to around 29 and a half years, 30 years for Saturn to return to the sign um, that initially started started. It takes Saturn about 30 years to transit all the way around to its beginning point. So that's what that means. So from today all the way through March 7th, 2023, uh, Saturn will be in the sign of Aquarius. Now, June 1st through December 17th, um, it will go retrograde back into Capricorn, okay? And it'll stay there again till December 17th, and then it will be in Aquarius for the rest of that time period up until March 7th, 2023. So what does this mean for you? It's for those that don't like long introductions, I am sorry, but I need to explain this. And um, if you're very, very impatient, then by all means, just, just fast forward. But you really need to understand what's happening at this point and at this time. Um, Saturn is, it's, it's very, very strong. Okay. Uh, this is a very strong energy that we're going to be dealing with right now. Um, Saturn going into Aquarius, this transit energy, um, it is going to shake things up. Okay. So let's just talk a little bit about what is occurring right now. So Capricorn, first of all, it is ruled by the planet Saturn which is in the 10th house, okay? So Saturn represents, and just thinking about the sign of Capricorn as well, but Saturn represents rules, um, regulations. Um, it represents authority, control, uh, restrictions, limitations. Um, it also represents hard work, determination, and also a career, okay? Some call Saturn, you know, the taskmaster of the planet, you know, the one that keeps everyone in check and, you know, ensuring that direct routes are made to the finish line. And what do I mean when I say that? That means you're not going to be going all over the place trying to get to here. You know, you're going to get a route that's going to take you straight to it. And it may be a painful route because it may be some things that you need to let go of. It may be some areas in your life that you need to heal. It may be some things that you need to do. So, if you don't have your birth chart, look below, and there's a link below that will show you how, it'll take you to a link so you can get your birth chart, because this is very important. You need to know the sign where Saturn is placed, okay, at the time of your birth. That is called your, that is called your Saturn sign. So, the sign where Saturn is placed, it governs, it governs how you um, seek control in your life, so to speak. And that's very, very, very important that you know how this time period that we're in, how it's going to affect you. Um, what is going to happen right now? First of all, let's just talk about that energy between Saturn and, and being in Aquarius. Um, the Saturn return in Aquarius, it's, it's going to make you try to fit into a community, but still maintain its independence. Okay, Aquarius is about community. Um, it wants to move the collective further but it has to stabilize the collective while growing 
the collective. And that's so important for you to understand that, okay? So its whole purpose is to move everybody further in their mindset, what they're doing, where they are in life. They want to, it wants to move you forward, but it has to stabilize the entire collective first before it can do that. Because remember, it's about community. And then while it's stabilizing you, it's growing you at the same time. So this could be, a, you know, a, 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 a painful and a healing transit uh, for some of us because if you are one that you really don't have your stuff together, this is going to force you to get it together. It really is. Saturn returning to Aquarius, this is, uh, it's going to lead you through very chaotic events of which we're seeing right now. You know, it's going to lead you through these chaotic events while it's building you, it's building your strength to go through it at the same time. It wants to better the society and the individual. So it's, 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 it's twofold. Not only is it wanting to, you know, heal and, and get everything straight and better what's happening in our community, in our society, in our world, but it's also doing the same thing for each individual that's in that society, in that community, in that world. Okay, during this time, you're going to see a merge of science and spirituality again for the true progress. And, and this is what we see, you know, what's actually happening right now. This is um, um, things that we cannot see, but we know to be true. Okay, so this is the merging of that mindset, the things that we can't see it but we know it to be true. So that mindset is going to be coming together. This is, I know you've probably heard the song, The Age of Aquarius. Well, that is exactly what we're moving into now. This is the new age. And I um, you know, I want to ask that you make sure you go and research that because that's very, very important. So when Saturn goes into uh, a sign, it forces your hand. It forces you to act right. It forces you to do the things that you're supposed to do. So like, for example, when Saturn was in Capricorn, it took down people in high authority we never thought could happen. I mean, it literally brought them down. It took away job. It took away their job. It took away their status. You know, these were people that were in power when they came through with that Me Too movement. People in power, they were taken out in ways that, no, that we didn't even think was possible. And that's exactly what, what took place, okay? So if you are on track, there's no need to worry. But that tower, that tower moment, it will come if you're not on, on, on point because that's going to help you with your healing. That's going to help grow you from a child uh, to an adult, which is, uh, and, you know, very important. And another thing you need to realize is this is not the universe conspiring against you. You know, it's the universe is there to help you with your transition and, to tr and your transformation. So don't resist the change. Don't resist it. You know, Saturn, is, it's like the patriarch. It's like the, the father of all the signs, you know. It's going to help you identify your career, which is, you know, not just a job. Your career is like your purpose. You know, this is how you're recognized in society. It's what you're known for. And see, and with Aquarius, it loves this because Aquarius loves to be a part of society. Um, you know, Aquarius loves community. That's what Aquarius is. Uh, Aquarius is ruled by the planet Uranus, which is in the 11th house. And Aquarius, it forces um, groups of people to come together for a higher purpose, for the best and the highest good of all, including the universe, including the angels. Nothing is separate here. It wants the, the good for all. And so the transition of getting to that point, it could be painful because there's, some, there's a lot of belief systems that we're going to have to um, relax on. Uh, we're going to have to reprogram our mindsets. These are things that's going to have to take place. You know, we're going to see structures that we've known for a very, very long time breaking down or just simply going away. You know, and one thing about change, people reject change. So when T Saturn returns to Aquarius, it will force people to make this change and to open themselves up to this new age that we're entering into. Aquarius is all about peace and harmony, but people aren't going to want to let go. They're not going to let go of their belief systems. And so this is going to be the, the clash that we're talking about. 
you know, during this time, you're going to see people waking up left and right as well, especially if uh, Saturn is in Aquarius in your birth chart. People are going to be waking up, I mean, like left and right, left and right. You're going to see them getting, and the thing about it, let me just take this too. With some belief systems, it's not as if you're going to have to let them all go. It's just that you're going to have to grow your mind to another type of intelligence. And that's so important for me to say that. Because, you know, some religions, you know, you, they hold on so tight. And so what we're saying is that continue to be in the mindset that you are, but you need to grow your mindset. And in the growth of your mindset, it's going to automatically cause beliefs that you may have thought or may have been trained to think as a child. It's going to, it's going to automatically require that to fall off because your mind is going to be open so much to not the individual person, uh, but the community of people which will grow you individually. You know, once again, Aquarius is about peace, it's about harmony, it's about, you know, people, you know, wanting to let go, people needing to let go, okay? People are going to be waking up, like I said, left and, left and right, and, you know, they're going to focus more on their purpose and their mission, mission their, their soul evolution, instead of, you know, just personal relationships. All of that's going to be out the door. So we've done an overview of Saturn returning to Aquarius. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a reading for the collective. And then I am going to use um, the tarot, and I'm going to use the Spellcaster tarot today, to do a reading for each individual sign and what your energy is going to be throughout this, uh, this transit. Okay? All right. So let's, we'll go right into the reading for the collective. All right, let's go right into the reading. This is going to be for the collective. The collective. Let's just see where the energy is going to be for Saturn returning into Aquarius. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what is the message that needs to go forth for the collective? What does the collective need to concentrate on for the return of Saturn into Aquarius? What messages need to go forth for the collective? What does the collective need to know? Oh, wow. Okay. Holy Spirit, the divine creator of the universe, the messages need to go forth for the collective as it relates to Saturn returning into Aquarius. March 21st, 2020 through March 7th, 2023. What messages need to go forth for the collective? Oh my goodness. Ooh, these cards are falling quickly. Divine Creator of the Universe of Messages need to go forth for the collective as it relates to Saturn returning into Aquarius. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? As Saturn returns into Aquarius. What messages need to go forth for the collective? Once again, I always go back and I look through the deck because I want to make sure we don't have any flippers because sometimes, sometimes I can't feel the flippers. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the collective as it relates to the Saturn return into Aquarius? Wow. These cards are really falling quickly today. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the collective as it relates to Saturn returning into Aquarius? What does the collective need to know?
like the glue to now. All right, so let's see what the energy is for the next three years for the collective. And then after this, we will um, use tarot to um, look at each individual sign's energy and to give some advice on that. Okay? All right. So let's just get right into it. Very soon and a new love. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So what I'm already seeing with this is that this is going to be a new mindset, a new relationship, a new way of looking at things as far as your relationships are concerned. The Spirit is saying you need to decide. You need to clearly decide what you want like right now. Because it's going to take, during, this, during Saturn's transit into um, Aquarius, Saturn being in Aquarius, you need to decide what you want now because it's going to take the next three years to really develop what this new mindset is in regards to love. So you got to really decide what do you want now. And I wouldn't focus so much on I want somebody with some money, with a job. No. See, you got to take your thinking higher. You, you got to go higher. What, what do you really want out of a relationship? What do you really want out of another individual? How are you going to keep your individuality and grow that partnership? This is what we're talking about. Digging deeper, you know, really identifying what you want and, and, and holding fast to what you want for the next three years so it can develop into this new love. Doesn't mean it's going to be a new person. For some of you, it may mean a completely new person. For some of you, the relationship that you're in, it's just going to grow into a new love, a new mindset, a new way of understanding one another. Okay? Uh, synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. Well, I am definitely not shocked about this card because we have all type of events that are happening around us right now. We have so many different things that are coming through on the internet and on social media and on the news. What Spirit is saying is that I'm going to give you I'm, I'm going to give you synchronistic events in the heavens. So some of the events that are happening, it is happening because of the shift that is happening in the heavens. That's why it's so important that we really understand these planetary alignments. It's so important that we understand our trines, our sextiles, our conjunction. And I know this may be over some of you all's head, but while you are um, in the place that we are right now, which is, um, you know, I'm not sure when you're watching this, but right now, today, we are in more of a, like a quarantine state because of the coronavirus that's going around. And so what Spirit is saying is that if you, under, if you understand what's happening in the, in the heaven, you'll understand the, the synchronicities of what is now being brought here on earth, okay? What is now happening to us on earth. There is a connection there. And once you understand the connection, you'll understand the different synchronicities that come out of that. You could be getting dreams. You could be getting, um, you know, it could be daydreaming. You could be seeing, you know, numbers that mean something to you. You know, while you're watching the TV, that may mean pay attention to what you're hearing right now. There's so many different things that you could be getting out of this. But if I would take this time to, lo to learn and to grow myself. So I can understand what the synchronicities are and what they mean. Okay? Eternal love. When I'm hearing about, when I'm seeing the eternal love card, it's not just about another person. It's knowing having that internal love within yourself. If you look at the card here, this is an angel. And this is one person. This is not two per two people. Okay, this is one person in the arms of an angel. So what does that mean? During this time, you want to recognize what is that eternal love? It's not what we've been conditioned to think. It's, it's a much higher mindset. It's a much, this is the love of, of what's happening in heaven and how you bring it on earth. It reminds me of the magician card. Um, the manifesto, when you can pull it down from heaven and bring it to earth. You have the power to do that. You really do. You have the power to do that. And that's what I'm saying. During this time, our minds are going to go to a different level. And you have to be open to that. You have to be, you cannot turn off, 
you know, if it's not relating to your spirit, you have to ask yourself, why, why am I not tapped into this eternal love right now? Why am I not tapped into it? Why don't I understand this? Why do I need another being to love me? Okay, so during this next three years, we're going to understand more about what this eternal love is. What this eternal love is that is going to grow us and understand who we are individually and how that individual person plays in society, plays in community, okay? Plays in the world. Detach from the situation. There are going to be many situations that we're going to have to detach from. And I think I talked about this earlier. It may hit some of you hard. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. And you all know I've never been one to sugarcoat anything. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it now. It's going to be hard for some of you all to let go some of these mindsets, some of the places that your, your life is in right now. You know, you're going to be forced to act right. And that's just what it is. Saturn, you know, sometimes people say, you know, don't, don't ever, you know, speak of a planet from a negative sense. And I'm not saying it being negative, but what I'm saying is pattern, Saturn, not pattern, Saturn is a planet that does not play. Okay. It is not one to take as a joke. It's considered the patriarch of the planets okay it is one that when it comes in it means business and so some of the situations that you already know is not serving your highest good it would be good if you can surrender yourself and detach from it as opposed to making saturn come in and shake everything up shake it up to the core okay you need to just surrender and say you know what this is not working out for me let me find my my my, my easy way out Okay, even though it might be painful for me to get out, let me decide now how to create my exit strategy so at least I'm in control of it as opposed to Saturn coming in and forcing you to act right. So detach from situations that's not working for your highest good. Summer, everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. I'm feeling like uh, for the summer periods and in, in, one thing that's beautiful about the summertime is that it's a time of we're, we're at our highest peak as far as the sol solstice is concerned. Um, summer makes you think about what your behavior is during the summertime. You're happy in the summertime. You know, the sun is shining in the summertime. You know, the, the, more, the days are longer than the nights in the summertime. I mean, it's just a beauty. People are off of work in the summertime. So this is a beautiful, beautiful time. So as we're going through this period, summer is going to be very, very important. Summer, the summer seasons are going to be very important to us, okay? Because that's the time that we're going to see breakthroughs. That's the time things are going to come to us. That's the time things are going to relax. That's the time people are going to be happy. So everything that you're asking for is going to be coming to you and look for it to come during the summer season as we go through this uh, period. Be assertive. When, I'm not shocked about this card either. Because this is a time you're going to really have to be assertive and identify what you want that's going to take you to the high level, a higher level. Um, if you're being assertive and you're, and you're coming from a negative mindset, this is not going to work for you at all. You're not going to do anything but create a, a chaotic mess. I'm going to be honest with you. So during this time, be assertive in getting your life right and healing family issues and getting your money right and finding the right job, the right career for you. Remember, Saturn's about career. Um, it's really about taking your, your, your life to another level, but doing it in a, in a mindset of authority. Okay. Remember we're coming out, Saturn's coming out of Capricorn. It was all about the authority at that time. So you don't want to be shook up, but now we're moving into a mindset more of community. So when you are being assertive, think about what you're doing and how it will affect the community, the society, the world. This is the mindset you need to be in. Okay. But you need to be, be assertive in doing it. You need to be very strategic and make sure you're making that plan and taking those steps and completing the steps. Ask for help from others. I'm not shocked about this one, too, because that's what Aquarius is all about. It's about helping one another. It's about the love of community, society. We're going to need each other as we go through this period, as we enter this new age of Aquarius. That's what it's all about. I am not shocked about any of this. I'm telling you, I am not. And this really has blown my mind because these cards are like so on point for this period that we're going, going through or going to, going into Okay, 
All right, so that was the reading for the collective. Now I will go into the reading for your individual signs. Um, you guys, if you want a time stamp, if somebody asks me, you know, why can't I just go to my sign? Listen, you are by all means, if somebody wants to time stamp it below, just go ahead and put it, you know, in, in one of your comments for me. And, um, and then maybe if I get so many of you know what, guys, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do an entire video with every one sign. I'm just going to do each sign individually so you can just go to your sign for your reading. Okay. So that's how I'm going to handle that. Um, they're not going to be very long readings. This is just going to give you an idea and an overview of just the energy to expect during this uh, Saturn into Aquarius, okay? All right, so we're starting with Aries, and then we'll end all the way up to, through Pisces, but each one will be done individually. Now on to your reading. Hello, my Virgos. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as it relates to Saturn's return in Aquarius for March 2020 to March 2023. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? What does Virgos need to know? This, okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as it relates to Saturn's return into Aquarius? Four. March 2020 to March 2023. What messages need to go for for the sign of Virgo? Wow. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit. Divine Creator of the Universe. What messages need to go for for the sign of Virgo as it relates to Saturn's return in Aquarius? For March 2020 to March 2023. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? Okay. All right, so I'm going to let you see the cards first, and then we're going to read them to see what the energy is. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help, help from others, and we know we have that up there. So definitely help. You're going to be needing assistance during this time, which is going to be a perfect timing for you, okay? And let's read these energies. You have the Two of Cups in reverse. You have the Three of Wands. You have the Eight of Cups. You have the Hermit in reverse. And then your overarching energy is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. All right. So, um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think what area we, we need to start with. Let's start with your overarching energy. Whatever's happening with the wheel, this this is this is a cycle. This is changes. This is a cycle. This is a completion of a cycle. This is inevitable fate. Okay, so there is definitely a completion of a cycle that is taking place. Um, it's a turning point in your life. So for the next three years, um, Virgos, this is definitely going to be a turning point. Okay, um, but thank God it's in upright because it's going to work for your highest good. Okay, it's definitely going to work for your highest good. Um, you're having help twice here. So we have help for the collective, but you have to let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. In this part of your life, whatever's going to bring about this cycle of change for you, whatever's going to bring about this cycle of change, you're going to need extra support. That could be in a variety of things. You could be, um, maybe having a baby, you could be moving, you could be starting a new business, um, you could you know, maybe have some health challenges that you're going to be getting over. There's a lot of things that this could could, could uh, relate to, but you got double let your friends help you. So it's very, very important. And if you've never wanted your friends to help you before, this is the perfect time to accept help from others, okay? The timing of everything is going to be perfect because remember your overarching energy is the wheel, which is everything working for your highest good. 
everything is working for your highest good. Okay, now to get into the cards, you have two of cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, wands, you have a I mean, um, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, again, Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo, and Wheel represents fire energy, which is Aries, Sagittarius, Leah, okay? Now, with the Two of Cups, but it's in reverse, okay? So this is the thing, with the Two of Cups in reverse, this is an imbalance, um, this is broken communication, this is tension. So this might be, you know, you may during this next couple of months, whatever situation that you may be detaching from, you're not going to be talking to this person for a minute. Okay, and that may be why you need your friends to help you. Okay, because it is going to be a uh, broken communication, it's going to be an imbalance, it's going to be a disharmony, and it could be with somebody who you consider your love. Okay, but the three of wands, um, from the you know, going through this experience, this three of wands, this represents teamwork, this represents expansion, this represents traveling because you can see. That there's there's something else out there. You've made your selection. See his his or her hand is on that that one. You've selected which route you want to go. Even though this person here may not be talking to you, there might be an imbalance. From this situation, you know which way you're going, and clearly you have detached from that situation because you're in this card alone. See here, you you're with the partner, but now you're you're by yourself because you know which route you're going, and that could be why your friends are needing to really help you. And when you've decided which route you want to go, um, you, you're moving on. With the Eight of Cups, that's someone who's withdrawing, moving on, retreating. They, they have their cups. There's only one cup standing. That's the cup that you're, you're focused on. You're not focused on taking anything from anybody else. You're just focused on yourself because you're moving on from that situation because you've made your decision. You've decided and you know now how to move on because now it's perfect timing in your life. It's perfect timing. You felt really, really alone during that time. You felt isolated. You felt, you know, by yourself. Um, you know, just being by yourself. I mean, you you, you uh, felt lonely. You know, you felt like you lost your way, but you got it back now because your overarching energy is, is understanding that spirit is behind you. Spirit is guiding you. But you just got to trust the process. Just trust the process. But once again, detaching from anything that's not serving your highest good anything or anybody that's not serving your highest good okay all right my loves if you want to do a private reading information pertaining to that can be found below until next time bye bye